cetera, in Florida, you'll find guards, inmates, and a zoo. Yes, a zoo filled with llamas, sea turtles, pigs, mini horses. Yes, they have mini horses. And uh -huh. many, many more animals. Locals call it the farm, and it's all part of a program to provide care for abandoned and abused animals and help inmates serve their time in a meaningful way. Y'all take a look. I am Jeannie Sealander. I run an animal rescue at the Monroe County Jail in Key West, Florida. The inmates help me to care for the animals. Both the inmates and the animals benefit from being here. Maybe some other jails out there might start this kind of program because there's so many animals that need homes and there's so many people sitting in jail cells that would love to do what we're doing. Supervisor Jeannie Sealander, also known as Farmer Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. Hey. Hi. How are you all today? Thank you for being here. First of all, how did this jail become an anim animal sanctuary? Well, it started completely by accident. There were ducks crossing the road between the jail and the nearby golf course. They were being hit by cars, and oh. the deputies were concerned, so they asked the inmates to round them up. So we took a contingent of inmates over, rounded up the ducks, and we put them in this fenced area beneath the jail, which is kind of where I'm standing right now. And behind me, Snowflake the alpaca is grazing. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to see if he'll Snowflake. come over to me. I'm just going to head that way Snowflake, while you're talking me. to me. It's Ben. Hi, Snowflake. Now, a lot of your animals were either neglected or abused, correct? Yes, our animals have been abandoned, abused, confiscated, or donated. And so they all needed a forever home. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, oh snowflake, pack of kisses. Give him some kisses. Precious. Hi, you can give kisses. Give kisses, snowflake. Oh, Ben, I want one. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you. Yeah, add it to the list of birthday gifts. I know. <laughs> now, <laughs> the animals, they they'll live out the rest of their lives there, right? Yes. This is a forever home for oh. the animals. <laughs> We take them only if we can commit to giving them a forever home because that's part of what we tell people when I do outreach in the community is an animal is a commitment for its lifetime. So we try to practice what we preach and give these animals a forever home. That's so great. That's so nice. I love that alpaca. It's no place. No place. So cute. Now, how do the inmates and animals help each other? The inmates get to work with the animals and give them love and attention and the care that they need. And by the same token, the animals give them unconditional love. Yeah. Because they don't judge and they don't care that the inmates are wearing an orange outfit. They don't see that. They just see the people that are caring for them and loving them. Right. right. Do you find that a lot of inmates, once they're released, go into the field of animal care? Is this something that inspires them career-wise? Not really. They don't go into animal care fields. They're here for such a short time, being that this is a detention center. Uh -huh. So they're here for less than a year. So most of them, when they go back outside, go to their regular careers. But this is a really nice thing for them to be able to do for the community and for the animals while they're serving their time here. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you introduce us to the men you're working with? Absolutely. They are behind me right now, and they're repairing a roof on our ferret habitat. So let me introduce you to them. You have a ferret habitat? All right. Mr. Travis. Hi, guys. So and Lawrence. Hey, guys. How you guys doing today? Hey, darling. We're good. Thank you guys for being here. What is uh, caring for these animals? How does it help you guys on a day-to-day -day basis? For one, it gets us outside, and, you know, animals are awesome. They're they all got their own personality, and it's just really cool to get to interact with them on a regular, on a regular basis. Awesome. What do you think, Trey? It's it's, it's therapeutic for us to be down here because um, we get to we grow attached to the animals, and um, instead of being locked up upstairs, we get to come down here and do something constructive with our lives. And uh, it's nice to be able to help out with the community and everything. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Is it a strange reality to see like all these really tough guys going like oh shoot booba dooba to like a mini horse or a sloth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely different. Um, sometimes you just have to be a different way in the jail than you do down here. That's just the nature of it. Now, do you have an animal you've bonded with most? I would say Kramer the emu. Um, oh. 
Uh, he was, came from Central Florida, and I've just grown attached to him since I've been down here. Yeah. And Lawrence, how about you? I'd probably say French Fry the Goat. French Fry the he's Goat. Cool. He's like a big dog. <laughs> you kind of you wrestle around with him a little bit, and he likes to play. Yeah. And That's he's the king of the goats, so. He's king of the cool. goat. <laughs> I what love a it. what a great title, King of the Goats. The French fry. Yeah. Um, what have you guys learned from this experience? I've just learned to uh, try to be the best that I can be down here, and I'm trying to do as much as I can to give back to the community. Um, Miss Jeannie has been a godsend. She's she's really helped me and uh, gave me advice, and uh, it just it just teaches me to be a productive member of society. Definitely, absolutely. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much, and thank you, Miss Jeannie. If you guys are interested thank in you. making a donation to the farm, go to picklerandben.com for more information.